Now there is a formula for compound interest. First formula is A is equal to A here is amount and amount is equal to principal plus interest is called amount. So A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the whole power N. By using this formula we will get amount and from amount if I take out principal I get a um, interest so let's now work out this A is equal to P that is 20,000 into 1 plus R which is rate of interest 10% by 100 to the whole power n which is 3 years okay. which is equal to this 20,000 into 110 by 100 to the whole power 3 from here onwards you can have an 2 approach you can go with the 3 times of 110 by 100 into 110 by 100 into 110 by 100 and solve this you get the amount the other method is 110 by 100 we know that 110 by 100 which is equal to 1.1 so I can see this as 1.1 to the whole power 3 so I write it because this is the first question we are dealing here so 20,000 into 1.1 to the whole power 3 and most of us must be familiar that uh, 11, 11 cube is equal to 1331, 1, 1331. So I will replace this 20,000 into 11Q that is 1331 3, and your decimal should come over here. Now to eliminate the decimal cancel this 3 zeros because after decimal you have 3 digits. So the value of decimal is eliminated. Now 1331 3, into 20. So this is equal to that's 2 and 2 into 3 is 6 2 into 3 is again 6 and uh, 2 1 2 and followed by 1 0 so this is your amount then where is the interest amount minus principal which is 20,000 so SI is equal to and uh, I'm sorry CI so simply I write as interest interest is equal to 26,000 620 minus 20,000 which will be equal to 6,620 this is your interest so the formula is simple you just can replace the values with formula you get the answer the only thing you get amount from amount again you need to take out the principal to get the interest second method is direct formula for Compound interest. Compound interest is equal to P into square bracket into 1 plus R by 100 to the whole power N minus 1 and the square bracket closed. Okay. So now what is P? These values are given to us. P is 20,000. into 1 plus R by 100 1 plus 10 by 100 to the whole power N which is 3 minus 1 square bracket closed now by solving this part what do you get 110 by 100 110 by 100 is nothing but 1.1 to the whole power 3 which is again 130, uh, 1331 so let's write down this as 20,000 into cube of this 1.331 minus 1 this this is closed so finally I get this as 20,000 into 0 0.331 so by multiplying this I get directly 
compound interest. So after this one, three digits are there. Cancel three zeros. Multiply this by twenty. That's a six six two zero. This is your compound interest by using this formula. Now we do have the third method, which is based on your percentage understanding. That is. again what we have already worked out that is first year this is third method which we have already worked out in previous one so 10% on 2000 uh, 20000 which is 2000 second year 2000 third year also 2000 first year there is no interest on interest second year 10% interest on previous interest which is 200 third year 10% on your previous interest which is 4200 on which 10% which is 420 by adding this I get this is 6000 plus 620 which is equal to 6620 now after seeing these many methods you may ask in question that which method should you follow now Usually, we go with this general method that is uh, uh, calculating the simple interest and adding the interest on interest. But uh, if the numbers are so simple as like 10% or 20%, the second method may also be a convenient method. So, you will observe in uh, the next questions that what method we are applying and what type of question.